What is going on? This is Matt and uh, I wanted to shoot a video because something that I struggle with, something that our team struggles with, something that our clients struggle with, is dealing with overwhelm and anxiety, right? So what I want to share is a step-by-step -step process that you can use anytime you're feeling overwhelmed um, so that you can step out of that, right? You can, you can go from being overwhelmed to having clarity and having momentum and energy, right? So the first thing that I want to do before I jump into the process is reframe how you might be thinking about overwhelm and anxiety and stress and, and sometimes depression, right? Because pain, and, and those are all different forms of pain, right? So pain is something that we like to get rid of as soon as possible, okay? And that's actually... Ironically, it's a dangerous strategy because um, if you don't feel pain, then you cannot learn, right? So we cannot learn without pain. That's an Aristotle quote, the, the philosopher Aristotle. And the thing is, is, you know, whenever we're coming up on something in life and we're just feeling off and we're feeling anxious and overwhelmed, we want to get rid of that as soon as possible. But instead of doing that, reframe how you view it right because with pain is how you learn okay so the first thing and and the first uh, process the first step of the process here is to focus on your breath as soon as you're feeling overwhelmed focus on the breath and nothing else so breathe in and breathe out and and do that a few times right because what we want to do is we want to get we want to change our state from a, a, a sort of anxious, overwhelmed, uh, maybe fearful state and, and get into an objective state so that we can actually use this pain to our benefit and we can use this overwhelm to our benefit, okay? So that's the step number one. The second step is to ob objectify the situation, right? So take a bird's eye view. Once you've you know, looked at it without emotions, take a bird's eye view of the situation and say okay what's really going on all right so you know let's say i'm overwhelmed right now i'm here in marina del rey um i'm, I'm thinking about maybe a, a client deliverable or i'm thinking about um a deadline that me and my partner want to hit so that you know we, we ship this new project we're working on right so what i'll do is i'm going to focus on my breath and I'm going to say, okay, I'm anxious because I'm worried I'm not going to get this done in time, right? That's the objective situation, right? And so once you've clearly identified what that situation is, then you want to identify the source of that anxiety and overwhelm, right? So, all right, if I'm worried about getting something done on time, then that means that what my system for execution or my system for managing deadlines or my system for managing my personal calendar maybe is not proven and not something I can rely on right so once you have objectified the situation you want to take a step back and identify the source of that overwhelm so for me um, something that I was slacking on the last few days because we were just traveling out here for uh, Sam Ovens Quantum Mastermind, which was amazing, um, was sticking to my daily routines of, you know, going through the end of day routine, uh, reflecting on my day. And that was, you know, that could be the source of, of the overwhelm, right? So whatever it is for you, identify what the source of that is. And then next, decide what your action steps are, right? So all right, I'm feeling overwhelmed about this deadline. Um, you know, is is that problem stemming from something in my head? Is it stemming from something you know in my body? Is it stemming from something inside the business? Um, you know, what does that look like? And just get really specific about it. And then outline the action steps, right? So, all right, what are we going to do next? I'm going to make sure that every day on my calendar I have. Uh, a, a consistent recurring time on my books to review you know all my deadlines and all the different things that I'm working on okay and then once that's done just take action right once you've weighed the different options commit to taking action and you know that is the uh, the four-step process to overcoming and eliminating overwhelm so again I'll just run that through one more time first focus on the breath 
Second, objectify this situation. Third, decide what to do next. And then lastly, take action. All right, so um, very simple framework. And you know, I, I hope this helps anyone listening because I know how overwhelmed and anxious it can be when you're you know, building a, a remote team or you're working online. Um, and you wanna just have very reliable frameworks in place and systems that you can use as feedback loops to keep you, you know, feeling in, in a great place and not be overwhelmed and not being anxious because you know, I know for myself, I don't create anything amazing in that, in that kind of place, right? So um, I really hope this, you, you found this valuable. Um, and, and something that I wanted to, to also share with you is we have a system, um, a, a resource that you can download in the comments below um, so that you can set up a really great feedback loop for your day and, and for your daily habits and your daily activities so that you are eliminating overwhelm. So I'll just link to that below. It's totally free um, and, and share it with your friends. That's something we've used internally with, with our team and with our clients all over the world. Um, but yeah, I really hope you found this valuable. Um, if you did, go ahead, drop a comment below. Go ahead, subscribe. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.